of six. Only takes all shape ammunition. It will, you'll want to put seven in it, but you can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. You could, you can, but it doesn't seem to work very well. And it just loads in right like this. Push that to click. Actually, I can do it. And then to release, it's right here. Have to have the safety on to release it. Uh, it even has a cool little eject feature right here. Uh, that's that's really it. There's not much I want to go over. Really just got to get to shooting it. It takes regular 12 gram CO2s. I'm using Crossman's right now. But Umarex seem to give it a little more. Ooh. It's a twist cap. You do not have to tighten this with an Allen key. Just hand tighten and when you're ready just just smack it now the only interesting things that you need to know about this one is you always have to have the safety in the proper position if you shoot with an empty mag and the safety's not on it can expel all the gas it's happened to me a few times when you're changing the magazine you have to have the safety off or again you'll have some weird issues so it seems to work really well if you follow the actual directions and have the safe on always, unless you're actually shooting. That's really all. Other than that, it's been it's been really nice, really fun pistol to shoot. We're gonna try to see if we can go through both sides of a watermelon today. And that's really it. We don't do a lot of in-depth reviews on this channel. There's really good YouTubers out there that will give you an in-depth review, but let's go shoot this thing. So we got, we got the light rounds, the medium rounds, which these are rubber with steel in the middle. And then we got the aluminum rounds. These are my favorite. This is the only thing I ever keep in it. I don't know the exact weights, but this is like 2.8 grams. This is around 1.8 I believe and these are even lighter between 1.2 and 1.5 grams these haul ass these are going 420 440 and then you know they gradually go down but I would say on for some interesting reason on this the second uh, the third and fourth shots are gonna be the highest FPS um, it's really screaming and you get two really good full mags, so 12 shots. You can go for a while after. You could probably do at least 24 shots before you have to refill, but you will start losing some serious pressure. Uh, one more feature that I have that I didn't go over yet is right here, you can adjust the velocity. I don't remember which way counterclockwise and clockwise makes it, but it can go, it says up to 400 feet per second, uh, which I know you can actually, it goes faster than that. Uh, so that's the velocity adjuster. It comes with the Allen key in the box. And there's another little tool it comes with that I've never had to use, and it's right here. It's called the magazine or the ball release. So if you stop shooting before you have an empty magazine, I guess the ball is supposed to get stuck and you have to release it with that pin. I've never had to do that. Uh, as you saw in the beginning, I can just release the mag and whatever was left in the chamber will fall out. It is cool though, because the magazine holds the ball in there, so they won't fall out unless you already release the mag and there's one in the tube. So the mag actually holds it in place before it's shot, which is really cool.
just do a little surgery. All right, so these were the, this is the side that was hit. And if I spin this, there's one. So. This is the channel that they made. I mean, so far it looks like they almost all, almost all of them went through, they got stuck on the Rhine. So, I haven't found any of the yellow ones yet. Yellow were the lightest. So I shot 12. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know I saw at least one or two come all the way through. So there might only be one in here or there might be no more. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it, but there's daylight through this one. There's the daylight. So that MUB50 will pop a, pop almost all the way through the watermelon. Shreds it up pretty good. Still gonna eat some of this. Oh, here's another one. I just don't know where the two yellow ones are. All right, I'll come back. After I do a little surgery. All right, I see one yellow one. Just had to eat a little bit. So. The yellow one only went about halfway through. The lightest one that goes the fastest went halfway. And maybe the one that went all the way through though could have been could have been a yellow one that kind of was traveling in a similar hole. I mean, this side's pretty good. This is coming inside. We unscathed this whole side. See if I can find the last yellow one. It must have been all the way through. 
Yeah, I got it. It was just right next to the, basically where I was shooting the watermelon. So this one went all the way through, but chances are it, it took a path that was already cleared for it.